G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I'm back out with the Helicon Tex Bergen backpack. Since I put the last video up, I've worn it nearly every single day. Been out for a few walks with it. Uh, I've been testing what I can get in there, the uh, setup, what kit to use, and Now I'm out on the Bibbulmun track with it and I think I've nearly got the kit to where I want it. I have added a couple of different pieces in for now just to give it a little bit more weight to see how it goes. But in general what I'm carrying here would last me as long as I've got food realistically indefinitely. I'm not carrying my knife or my axe today or my saw because this is an area where a lot of people come and some people get a bit concerned when you're carrying a knife so I'm just hoping not to need it but as you can tell by my breathing I'm going up a incline so, instead of you listening to me puffing and panting, I'll see you in a little while. One thing you need to take into account with this pack is your hydration bladder pocket is on the inside. So at the moment I've got a two litre bladder in the back, which is giving me the two kilos, but it's also taken up roughly two litres of space in the 18 litre section of the pack. So theoretically you've only got 16 litres to play with. So when I start using my three litre pack, when the weather warms up and I need more water, then that'll drop down to about the 15 litres of usable space in the main section of the pack. And that's one thing if you're walking here in Australia on the Bibbulmun track or any track, it's very rare you'll get water in the summer in between the shelters so one you're gonna to have to conserve your water and two you're gonna to have to carry extra water so luckily with it being summer you don't have to carry as much in the sense of warm clothing wet weather gear uh, and stuff along them lines so just be aware however much water you put in or size water bladder you put in your pack it's going to subtract that from the main 18 litres. But one positive thing about this pack is you've got that, mo uh, that row of molly webbing on the outside. So what I'll do in a future video is show you which are the most suitable pouches that I own that will fit on there. I've already been playing around with them seeing which will work best but I've got a few more I want to try out so in a future video I'll show you which pouches are going to fit on this pack when all the other sections the pockets and the main compartments are full because we don't want pouches too big where it's going to stop you using the pockets uh, easily So my setup today is in there is the DD and the blanket and the hammock gear top quilt. So with the temperature as it is now, I don't think I'm going to need to get that out. 
and that was strapped to the bottom lashing points with a couple of straps in the front pouch here or the back pouch which is wherever you want to look at it I have a ridge line I made myself with a power cord and a 36 bank line I've got my multi-tool uh, with a hammerhead on it there I have the Helicon Tech Super Tarp Small which I haven't used that yet so I'm going to be testing that out over the hammock one day soon and there's the pegs and that all fitted in there nice and easy so let's put them back let's shove that down the front pegs in and the multi-tool back down towards the bottom and as you can see there's still more room in this pouch and this side pouch I have my Helicon Tex poncho and my wallet so hoping not to use that oh, and I've got some spare cordage down the bottom too so that's in case I needed to use this for a shelter which I hope I don't need to use uh, wallet let's push that back in there too so everything's still all in place And as you can see, that was cinched nearly all the way down, so there's still room left in that side pouch. The other side pouch, my water filtration kit now, with my smaller foot kit, which has got the Topes 550 pot in there with the 375mm uh, cup inside of that, the BRS. Uh, titanium gas stove, my tea, my coffee, my knife, fork, spoons, uh, lighter, all fits in there and this side pouch. So it goes in nice and easy as you can see. And even with this all put back in there, We still have room spare to put more stuff in if we need. And I mentioned about the webbing on the outside to add more pouches to. So if you haven't seen this pack before, it's hidden underneath this flap. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve attachment points. So if you don't want to use it and you want it out of sight, you just fold that flap down and it's gone. In the top here, again I've got some more power cords, some more bank line, uh, emergency bag, excuse me, my uh, map of the area, and there's room here too for my Sunto MC2 compass or fits in here with this so as you can see plenty more room we've got the lashing points on top so if you need any more you can lash a uh, bed roller on the top or just another bag or attach some carabiners and then we go into the inside And do the first part. Just spread that out. And do this bit, the expandable part. Now I'll show you this. 
I've still got plenty of room in here. And there's a good, what's that, four or five inches from the bottom up to the top. So I could even put more on top of that and just cinch that to hold it in place. And then bring this back over the top and just adjust the straps on the front. So there's plenty of room. So what I carry is an empty canteen on the inside. So if I filter any water, I can filter it straight into there and just sit in camp and keep pouring it from there to save me keep filtering over and over again. Or I can filter my water into that and top up my hydration bladder. If you haven't seen it again, there's another pocket sewn in here. What I carry in there is my first aid kit, which is a basic kit. Probably a little bit more than I need, but there's also a snake bite kit in that or two. And I've thought about using that top one because it's the first thing you come to. Unless you put something on top then all you're going to do is throw that off and that's near the top then. So that's there for emergencies. Now sometimes I'm not going to be able to use my hammock. So I also carry a small uh, inflatable mattress from Thermost. And they see this on it. Eros pillow, they're premium, but it's just a regular size. And so there's nice, two nice small add-ins there, so I can use it both hammock. And if I get to a shelter like I'm at now, and there's no trees uh, uh, suitable, or if I just need to go to ground, anywhere in between shelters. I've got my spare batteries and the electronics in there. And I've got my head torch in that too. My down pillow for the hammock, that's a must. Doesn't necessarily support, but it just gives you that comfort. Five main meals of dehydrated or freeze-dried food. A basic hygiene kit with loo roll, wipes, small towel, and uh, uh, bug wipes as well to keep the bugs off. Okay, next is my hammock. Uh, in that little pack, which will just squash down even smaller, is my hammock, the bug net that goes with the hammock, uh, whoopee slings, and tree straps. So all in there, nice and secure. So I can just grab it out and no messing around searching. And then at the very bottom is a change of clothes. A couple of pairs of jocks, a couple of pairs of socks, a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. All in there. And like I said, we've got the hydration bladder in its pocket there. But like I said earlier, remember as soon as you start adding water into that, it's going to take the space up here. Let's put the clothes back. I'm not going to need them. Maybe they're right at the bottom. And let's put them at the bottom now, just to one side. Either side of the water bladder, use up some of that empty space. Put the food back in there. So I'll keep all my area clear and clean. My hygiene kit can go in there. And you can see all the space that's in there now. And the only thing really missing is the pillow, which could have been compressed down even smaller than it really was. And the hammock and the water bottle and electronics but plenty of room if you didn't want to carry the extra water bottle you don't have to or you can either attach it with a carabiner to the webbing here and have it strapped to the outside so that's going to give you even more room on the inside of the pack so I'm going to find a couple of trees and put my hammock up and test my setup out because so I've just added a few things to it and I want to make sure it works properly before I use it 
for a multi-day. The hammock worked okay, but I don't think I'll be using that one. I'll be going to one of my others. Uh, using one of the others, I can drop some weight from some gear to make up for a little bit of extra weight of the other hammock with the built-in bug net. I'm looking at using the DD frontline hammock. So I'll give that a go in the next week or two and see how it works out. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and it's the first time you've been to my channel please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to that so you can be notified of all future videos and then click the like button. Excuse me, out of breath. And if you're already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.